Okay, there we go. See, I'm so smart. All right, so uh, when... Uh, it's, doesn't it usually count down? No. Oh, okay. It did count down already. Oh, I missed it. Well, say hello. We've started the show. We're on the we're on live radio, Lisa. This is not just Are us. we on the radio right now? We're on the radio right now. Right now. So, so we're, we're, we're doing everything we're supposed to do? I think we're doing we're everything. To do? We're recording two right. different places. We're recording for the for the thing. Anyway, so hello out there in uh, in Residence Radio Land. Aww. I sent them a check for... Uh, yeah, you don't need to yeah. pay the amounts. So okay. It was good. It'll go towards re-kitting the new station. It's not as much can money. Can people still give to Residence? Of course they can give. They can give around year round. Give money to residents. It is a very. I'm not saying it's a good charity because I don't know what they do with the money. But they I use do, it to run the station. They use it to run the station. But at the end of the day, they've given us a home for all these years. I know. Oil. I know. We'll do more. We'll we, do more this year. We're going to be better. We're better. We're building up. The fact that we're recording this. The fact that we're doing something every week. Fourteen years later. Fourteen years later. We're building up. It's it, it's interesting because it's actually like a diary of our lives. Now it's become a full time diary. I know. Diary. Do you not feel that we can just gift this to our children and they'll really have a way to get to know us through being in different relationships and different points in our lives? Well, I mean, yeah, but what did we say when during the early episodes? There must be some truths and some personal There must stuff be some little things that, that revealed, slipped in. Yeah. Like what you were doing at the time and the things you said. Ooh, ooh. Um, it wasn't much, but it's got to be said. This is way more. Now you're learning about us more. I don't know whether you're interested in this. I don't know whether people... I thought we were using this to write our sitcom. I didn't think, think that. that oh, was the I first thought that's thing. what I said today. That's what you said today. <laughs> when I asked you if you could make a lot of money writing a sitcom, and you I, said yes. I think sitcom would be no. No? I think no. I think that would be very hard. For part they, drama they don't, they don't do sitcoms anymore. They don't write a sitcom. What they do is they take content already, which is what we're producing, and then they could do something with I've watched content. some very cute sitcoms recently. I've, I've just started watching like uh, this one about the elementary school. Which is a mockumentary, super cute. I don't usually get into that stuff, but Talila got well, my daughter got me into it. I never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. I don't know how they operate this thing. I know this. There was a guy. Weren't you writing a sitcom pilot when I met you? No. Yeah, you were writing something with someone. Well, some, your, yes, my your ex told me. Yeah. That you got some money from the BBC to write something. We did do something. And it, it didn't amount to much. You didn't finish it, did you? No. No, I don't know what happened. I forgot Can we happened. get the money back and we'll do it now? What money did we get? I didn't get any money for it. Oh, I thought your um, previous wife Yeah. at one point told me that you got something, an offer to write something. Am yeah, I, I think, I think she was lying just to make it seem like I was better because she was embarrassed about me. Oh, okay. Well, she knew I knew you were a loser already. She didn't need to impress me. Oh, okay, thank you. The audience doesn't need to know what a loser I am, and I am a loser. You sure. are. I am. I'm a big loser. I'm going to be... I'm a loser. I'm not as good. I'm mean, 65. I mean, I'm almost 66, Lisa Moore. This is why we have to yeah. write our sitcom now. Um, it doesn't have to be a smash hit. What would our sitcom be about? I don't know. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. It's a minor problem. Who do we sell it to? So then we <laughs> Other sell it. people living a mediocre existence? So we go to the BBC, and they go... They may not be the right place for us. No, not for me. They wouldn't be the right place for me. Ooh. Because I hate the BBC. I don't hate the BBC. I do hate the BBC. But you hate everything. Let's just I hate that. everything, but I, I do hate the BBC. That's but I, ridiculous. But if, okay. but if they threw me a bone, I would be a little bit That's more... That's not the way to win them over. They're not going to buy no. a sitcom by no, saying things isn't. like that. And I, you know me, I'm, I'm always hyperbolic. Like everything is like, this is the worst thing ever. This yeah. is the best and thing. And you have no attention, like no focus to do things over an extended period. No, I mean. Although we have done this for 14 years. But this wasn't the focus of do it over and this just happened this way. Ooh. They never said no to us. Okay, maybe we write an accidental sitcom. The accidental sitcom. Ooh. But I was hearing about this guy, and I'm trying to remember what the guy was, where he was given an offer to some major company offered to buy his podcast. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. And they offered him, like, a huge amount of money. What were they going to do with that? They, they were going to put it on their platform. Oh, okay. Right. right? All right. And part like, of that money to stream it on their platform. Like a Ben Shapiro platform. Yeah. Like, they have, like, these companies the exist. Numbers. They have all sorts of They'll different... Don't ever say his name again with that word. <laughs> You know what? Let me rephrase that. I love Ben Shapiro. Ugh, God, we are ben so Shapiro. different. Oh, yeah, we are totally different. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's why this show works, because the people out there, they get a choice of, uh, of, of raw, of which is you, or and right, which is me. Anyway, so they offered him like five or ten million for this poncy little podcast. Really? Yeah. When he, was he like one of those right-wing nutty dude 
Uh, no, it's, uh, it was Such this guy act. that we barely have heard of, Mr. Yeah. Beast. Have you heard of this guy? No. No, I never heard of him either, but Mr. Beast. And then and then it was broken down by somebody on the thing. But so did he sell? No. Why? Because this thing wasn't worth $5 million or $10 million. Oh, wait, somebody jumped in before they put the, gave him the money? Did he say yes, and then someone said, what are you, crazy? No, the, the guy said, he said... Oh, he well, said himself. That's very Schaffarian. No, he said, why am I going to sell it to you for $10 million when my thing is worth a billion? And... And a guy that I respect online mm -hmm. outlined why it was almost worth a billion dollars, his little Ponzi podcast, based on how many listeners. tens of millions of people. But he had tens of millions of listeners. Yes. Then why have I never heard of him? Because that's what's weird about this whole internet revolution. Okay. Yeah. Does like, he attract all the weirdos? No. It's He's like, not one of those. It's like similar to Joe Rogan or something. Not even like Joe Rogan. Not political like Joe Rogan. Oh, it's just about like some guy. Like somebody, like you take a look at Joe Rogan and you think, oh, oh. It's, it's not. Well, yeah. forget about oh. Don't, mm -hmm. don't be judgmental. I am judgmental. You are. You're horribly judgmental. Yeah. Why not? Oil. Anyway, and so like judge, he gets like ten million people listening to his thing every single. Does month. he have commercials like adverts and stuff? Yeah, he's got things that he represents. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the fact there's other people willing to pay money to listen to his thing. Oh, so people pay to listen. They subscribe. they pay. They subscribe to Spotify the same way. Mm -hmm. In the same way, they paid Chris Rock, however much they paid him for one special, mm -hmm. which was like fifty million dollars for mm -hmm. one special. Can so you, you can do, do something that. like that. I could, but if they... you became really rich, would you give me money? Would you love me? Would you fancy me in that kind of way? I mean, I could see the ways in which I find you more attractive. Yes, exactly. But you wouldn't like fancy me. If you had me. beachfront property. And, yeah. You know, like a big house. Well, the, I'm not really into cars. The interesting. You took expensive vacations and ate nice. Would you, you'd like me. You wouldn't find me as cringy. I'd find you far you, less cringy. Would you find me attractive? Would you look at me and go, mmm, he's really good looking? Are you thinking of holiday, how many holiday homes? Yeah, exactly. So handsome. This is, handsome. This is the thing about women, is they're horrible, they're horrible mm -hmm. people. Or shallow. Shallow. You're not really that shallow, because money is not shallow. <laughs> <laughs> True. I mean, yeah. We're just uh, uh, assigning appropriate value to what to we are. To, to give up your oh. thing. The truth is, this is what the truth is. Yeah. With men, no amount of money will make a man attracted to a woman. Mm. Enough to have a relationship. With her. With you her, mean, right. Uh huh. Uh, but I mean, only, yeah, there's a certain type, an icky type, I think. That a man would? Uh, very few, I think. They would find... Mm. I no. think you'll find there's a lot of men out there as deep as a puddle. Could you, could you lease some oil? Could you lease some oil? Mm. Let's say you actually get excited physically. Mm -hmm. Is this too early in the, morning, in the afternoon to be discussing this? Physically excited to mm -hmm. be with a man. Mm -hmm. Who has a lot of money? Maybe you don't find him attractive. Let's say he's, you know, just average. But... You know, there's always fine wines and medication. Yes, <laughs> to okay. lift the mood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, men men can do that. They can lift the mood. They can lift the mood, maybe. Um, so it's Nine Hundred American Radio with me, Louis Schaefer, and uh, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful co-host. You people on the radio can't really see it how beautiful she is. Aww. It could become more beautiful to me as the days go on. Even as I get old. As I'm descending into remarriage and desperate. Oh, right. <laughs> when you're married, you find everyone attractive. Because, you you know. Once it's can't. You can't. It's a can't. can't. As yeah. an engaged man, you're seeing women more in the can't category. I am seeing that, yeah. I'm just, mm. I'm seeing mm. that. I'd like to say I don't think, oh, mm -hmm. I don't think other women are beautiful. Because you've got yours. But I don't, I do, I do think they are beautiful. You're a changed man because there was a very long period of time where women had no um, impact on you at all. You'd be like, yeah, eh, can't be out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a different guy. Yeah, but I, I, you know what it is? It's the meat because I'm on my raw diet. I'm eating raw meat most of the time. Mm -hmm. My diet is, I would say, is about 80% raw. If you were rich, would you stop that? No. You if you had the opportunity to dine in fine restaurants all the time, it, I would go to steakhouses, probably. Uh, might I might do that? I would mm -hmm. I would eat better quality meat. Mm -hmm. I would eat ribeye steaks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. T bone steaks, mm -hmm. raw T bone like steaks. What's that Japanese beef? Kobe. Kobe beef. Mm -hmm. 
So you'd be I, down with the fancy beat. I need Kobe Bryant, too. I mean, I just... That's gross, because he's no longer with us. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's cannibalism. Yeah. That's not even cannibalism. No, that's just something. Scavenging. Scavenging. And uh, so this is the only radio program for Americans living in Nunhead, Southeast London. And uh, even though it's just basically us. Um, yeah, when we're back in the studio, will we go back to having guests? I miss our guests. I think we might, because I think we Don't might. Do you miss them? I do. Uh, I know. No, I actually, no? no, I shouldn't say this, Lisa Moore, but I, I actually enjoy just talking to you. It, it, it takes away a lot of this. And we, I think our interactions are very stressful to me. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, what, having to find a guest, call up a guest, know, worrying in a guest. Them? What do you miss about it? I don't know, the entertainment, the, yeah. you know, the, the uniqueness of each episode. Well, it's interesting you would say this, because I just realized what the thinking was, which is different from men and women, which mm -hmm. is women, men, mm -hmm. this is this is all generalizations all the time, mm -hmm. okay? That's and I said, I did I say something bad about women in past and I hate women or something? Yeah, you always used to say hate women. I always said, but remember, we're on the radio. You don't trust we're, women, you hate women, they have an agenda. Yeah, which is all true. evil. But women, my old joke, remember my joke is that women, women want to go out. Mm -hmm. They love going out. Mm -hmm. Men just want to go home. Yeah, men just want to, and they want to keep the girl home. They want mm. to go out, get the girl, like they want to just get the girl home, keep her, keep in her the in house, the cave, keep her in the whatever, in the mm -hmm. basement, whatever, mm -hmm. keep her. <laughs> in extreme cases, yeah, yeah, in extreme cases, and they don't want to go out again once they got the girl. Well, why would they go out with the girl when somebody, well, the girl will just find somebody because else? Because the food is at home now. The refrigerator stopped. The refrigerator. There's no need for hunter hunting and gathering. You could call. You could call her a refrigerator. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, that's what men think. Women love. Why is that then? I think because women, women are, um, women are like uh, boats. I've heard uh -huh. this analogy. Women are like boats and uh -huh. men are like islands. Uh -huh. And, and the woman is in the boat. She's mm -hmm. looking around for her island to dock on. Mm -hmm. And she wants the best island that she could get. Right. And she goes and docks on this island. And it's a good island, and she's happy there. But she thinks to herself, there must be a better island out there for me. Oh, well, you think women are always looking for an upgrade? Well, that's the other theory. It's called uh, it's called hypergamy. Have you heard about this? No, uh, because I don't hang out with the people you hang out with. Well, I know. I've, I've become. I've gone. I've gone over the deep end. Mm. And uh, do you I, think you'll ever come back? Like, no. what if you have a beautiful little baby girl? Will you look at her and her little cot and go, she's "God, deep. you're going to grow up to be horrible." Yeah. Yeah. And, you want to and I'm going to encourage all the men you meet not to trust you. No, not that. No, I, you can't trust a woman. The fact is, the reason I'm getting married mm -hmm. is because and this is called red pill. Mm -hmm. There's red pill. We discussed this like yes, last know, week with uh, with Laura. Okay, red pill and black pill. Yeah. Is that I am I am now. I don't know whether I'm red pill or black pill. Red pill is just investigating the nature of people, which we do anyway. It's just mm -hmm. a word for. Mm -hmm. It's a word for looking at men and mm -hmm. saying, well, why isn't this guy calling me back? And try to find out the answer. Okay? That makes no sense, but okay. No, just for example, it's like human nature. It's, uh -huh. it's an investigation of the human nature. So getting to know someone. Getting to know someone. Understand somebody. them. No, not just one person, but the whole group of people, uh -huh. which uh -huh. is very manly. Anyway. Divided by gender. Divided by gender. That's what it is. It's saying men are this way. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Mm -hmm. That's all the red pill is. Mm-hmm. The black pill is is the realization that uh, I mean it could be it's more complicated, but like you're you're basically screwed. We're screwed because mm -hmm. that women want this from a man. And this is the philosophy that you're choosing as your as your kind of structure that you're operating in. You've chosen this. I haven't chosen it. You don't mm -hmm. choose to investigate. Mm -hmm. You you don't choose to You've say. You've chosen to believe and or adhere to this particular way of looking at the world because there's many. No, like you I could at least just as easily divide the world by class. No, but because, you're choosing because, to divide by gender. Because two red pill people could mm -hmm. have could have different views of the nature of women and mm -hmm. the nature of men. Mm. They could have different views. So I, you can't say that my view, my red pill view, mm -hmm. is different is the same as their red pill. Anyway. Mm -hmm. What is the point we're making? There's, there's still time for you, Lisa, Mall to marry me. There's still time. I You're engaged. Say. I respect that. I haven't given her a ring. But let's see if you really, you know, Yeah. 
get something big in before the day comes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. that what you mean by time. Because you know I want to remarry at 64. At 64? Well, there you go. So that's nine years from now. So yes. I'll be with Rose. I shouldn't, I shouldn't mention her name. No, anyway. you shouldn't. I shouldn't anyway. So sitting in for uh, Lisa it, last week was Laura Synthesis. So let's Ooh. give Laura a big round of applause. Who's very interesting and a lot of fun, too, surprisingly. Oh, you think she's more fun than me? I didn't say more, but mm-hmm. she's it's bordering on that. She's because, she's because she adds the extra element. Mm-hmm. Extra element of mm-hmm. of you uh, of just being even more extremely feminist and mm. right on than you are, Lisa. Mm. Okay, I'll up my game. You'll up your game. Don't please don't do that. So this is Monday, the twentieth of March, two thousand and twenty-three. We'll repeat it on Saturday, the twenty-fifth of March, two thousand twenty-three. And this is uh, this is we're calling this Lewis Schaefer's calendar. Well, Lewis Schaefer's. March towards death. This is the section of these programs. We're in week nineteen or twenty. Gosh. I don't remember. Yeah, we've been doing this a long time already. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this is and you could you know what you could do what if you could listen, I do? Oh, and they you could do. me because you're always telling me what I should do. They could do. They could listen to this on uh, on YouTube. They could watch it. On, they could send us a message on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, but they don't could, encourage them to go off the radio because don't don't go off the radio right now. But later on, you can, should you, you choose to, should yeah. you choose to, you can watch FM. this. You can't watch this show just now while you're listening to the radio because you gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Anyway, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm actually, you were thinking. I was thinking. Yeah. I went price pricing for uh, for equipment that we could buy. Oh, meaning me. I wow. Think. Yeah. Well, this is so unlike you. Well, the money has been, I've had, I worked, I think, 17 days in a row or something. I worked Sorry. on re- <laughs> re- <laughs> What are you laughing at? No, I just think if we, you know, put that in the numerator and put the amount of time. I've said that or what? No, over like the, if we took like an average. Of all the time, how much of all the days you said. worked, let's say, over 10 years. It would just be fun to see how many that worked out to. What do you mean, the equipment? No, no, you working. Anyway, sorry. Oh, I was, I was sorry. Sorry. No, I have to explain 17 this. days in a row, what were you doing? I was, A, I was making a film oh. with, uh, what's his name? Who? I can't mention his name. Is he handsome? Um, I, you don't want to say this about anybody. Yes, he's is handsome. Is he famous? He's famous. Oh, I know who it is. He's famous. And he's also an artist. And he's a very famous artist. Yes, I didn't realize he's brilliant. That. Is he brilliant? He's an actor as well, isn't he? I don't know who the guy is. Is it Steve McQueen? We're not talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It was, I was over wow. in Chatham Dockyard. Was it amazing? It was amazing. Was he amazing? I don't... What he what he did, he's the director. He was, I know, but did you like look at him and go, my God, this is a master in action? No. Oh. No, because it's... because he film, presence? What film work is, it's very hard to find. What's, like, what's impressive is the organization of it, is this huge space with hundreds of people. And That's, everyone knows what they're doing? They seem to know. They don't know. No, they, no, it's chaos. It's mm-hmm. chaos. Everybody come upstairs, okay? Mm-hmm. Everybody go downstairs. Take a mm-hmm. break. Everybody, you know. What's go. the movie about? Are you allowed to say? The movie's about the blitz. Oh, cool. So it's... you got to go dress up in period clothing. Yes. Wait, were you a baker? or is that No, that's else? another film we can't uh-huh. mention. We probably we can't mention who, who that mm-hmm. is. Yeah. But I was, I was so close to the action that they don't, they can't, they couldn't use me in the next scene. So I basically was oh, screwed nice. because I was right there in so the So you could have had more days. I could have had three more Couldn't days. Couldn't they just put like a little mustache on you and a funny hat? I was actually two feet away. It was like right there. Who's the everything. star? Are we allowed I don't to know say? who the star. I don't think the star is. Oh. This one young guy, he's an African. He's not African. I think he's English, but he mm-hmm. looks like an African. And he probably, I don't know. He's just amazing. He's like so stunningly handsome. Oh, right. Who and is this gentleman? I'm not going to say who okay, it is. I don't even. I'll wait till the movie comes out. You'll wait till the movie comes. You'll you'll probably see it. And you know what? This well, I see will you. This what are you wearing? Come. What do you? What did? What is your role? Well, I'll show you what I'm. Well, don't show me on the radio. Just tell me. I'm wearing I'm wearing the suit with a hat. Oh, okay. And like a yarmulke. A... And a yarmulke. Oh my God! You're a Jewish guy. In yeah. the Blitz. Yeah. Are so you running from the, the temple or something? Uh, that was the next scene. I oh think. God! I could have written this movie myself. I could have been in it. I don't know. Maybe they didn't want me in it. Maybe yeah. Maybe they changed their Did mind. Did you die? Um, Jews always die in World No, I don't think it's that way. Oh. It's, I think it's, it's going to be... It, 
Oh, I don't know if it's. Wow. Okay. Day. So you did that for seventeen days. No, I didn't do that for seventeen days. I Ooh. did that for some days, and I was on. Uh -huh. the, I was on the, the TV. Oh yeah. My TV thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which has become a problem, really. Mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, you being pigeonholed. No, I think uh, I don't even know if I should discuss it. Really. Okay. Uh, they seem to like me. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid to say it out loud? Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't want to say that uh, we don't like you. You know, you don't want to say, oh, they like me. They say, oh, we just, you know, you're mm -hmm. fired. They seem to like me. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Interesting. There's a question about whether, you know, it's just hard for me to be on this show. Mm -hmm. Because I am, it's just hard. Mm -hmm. The show is very hard. It's not suited for me. Right. To come up with, like, little bits and pieces. Oh, of, right. You're more freewheeling, freestyle. Yeah. In the moment. Because. Oh, well, let me guess. Yeah. Can I paraphrase? Yeah. You, this requires preparation. Which it looks like I'm not prepared. Right. But I am prepared. Mm -hmm. It's just that my mind... But you spend so much time tootling about on the internet anyway. I would have thought just by, you know, the yeah. nature of you, that you would be in a constant state of preparedness for that kind of thing. Or are you only in those corners, certain corners of the internet where I... you're not picking up the stuff they want you to talk about? No, there's a certain way of writing jokes. Oh, is, I see. It's You've got to be like jokey joke. Like, like, have I got news for you, jokey yes, joke? Yes, exactly. And I can't, and when I sit down and So that's that, not really in the moment? It's not that it's in the moment. It means beforehand I've got to prepare. No, that Just shows. in case that comes up. No. And that show's not in the moment. It's pretty well, it acts like it's in the moment, but so it's not fibbing. in the moment. They're fibbing. It's totally, I guess it's a lie. I'm not saying my show is a lie. How do you know it's a lie? So your show's a lie, too. Is that how you know? It's not quite. And my show is not so a lie. So you kind of know. They give you a heads up about the stuff they're going to talk about. Some people are really funny. Mm -hmm. And they can come up with things on the spot. Yeah. That's not me. Right. Okay. So, But you're saying also you don't want to prepare. So I do want to prepare. You're not in the moment, and you're not a guy who prepares. So which guy are you? I'm a guy. I'm a, I'm a cross between those two bad qualities. Right. Um, what am I saying? I don't know what you're I'm saying. Say, I'm saying that I am a... Um, um, I need you know, every the people who work at it. They have a funny way of looking at things, which uh -huh. I do. Uh -huh. Okay, but my funny way of looking at things takes a slight bit longer. I'm like a girl, the way girls think. They sometimes girls are women. Bit, women. Mm -hmm. They take a little bit longer. They come up with the right answer, but when some guy is screaming at them, they start crying. That's me. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing at that joke. There's not, absolutely nothing funny about it. <laughs> because it's so horrendous. Because just, they're going to fire you, basically. They're not going to. They, they might fire me. They, they might. might. All they right. Might. Well, let's see what happens. So you've been they busy, might. is what you're saying. 17 days in a row. Yeah, and then I, then I was a little bit of an And now are you unemployed? I. Uh, that's the thing about my calendar. I've got nothing next week. All right. I've got nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, nothing, gosh. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Until the 29th. What's that? Then I do headliners again. Oh, right. So then I'm having you next week. No, it's, I'm not on the calendar. But then I'm on the calendar other days. Uh huh. And they've been they've been calling they've been calling me. Um, what just to say hi? No, to say oh. can you come in? Oh, you're, you're a last that. minute guy. Yeah, last. I'm like I'm like the top of the the B team. Right. Nice. I moved up a little bit. So yeah. I, said, I moved That's up nice. to the top, yeah. top of the B team. Wow. But a lot of people, but. But I've been told by that girl that I'm seeing mm. that she she hates me being on the on the show, and you do too. Yeah, but that doesn't directly impact my life. I right. can see it would be more an impact on her life because she has to be like, oh my god, my, my husband, husband is my, on is on GB that News. show, that station. Is right. that why she hates it? Because she thinks it's gross. Because she doesn't like a lot of the other people on the show. Right. Right. And yeah. she, so she doesn't like a lot, a lot of the other people. Not just yeah. on, not on the show, on the channel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you nothing know. against anyone on the show. Well, some people she doesn't like on the show either. Oh, should you be saying that? Um, yeah. Well, because right, so she, it's her business. She's telling no, me. No, I know. But I mean, it's like you don't always tell your friends that your partner doesn't like them. I do. I shouldn't say yeah, this. Anyway. So I shouldn't say So you say I shouldn't Why don't you win that? someone over at a nicer station? Because number one, I am not a nice person. Yeah, that's true. Right, but there's a lot like of me. not nice people on, on TV. No, people don't like me, Lisa. Yeah, that's true. Why don't they like me? 
Well, because you get very in their face and like always tell them what they're doing wrong with their lives, and people tend not to respond well to that. No, that's true. And I'm I'm a bit annoying. And then they hire me for this thing, and yeah, and it's not quite and not a great fit. Is that what you're saying? Basically, that's what the problem is. Yeah. Do they rec- but don't say anything because maybe they haven't recognized it yet. And this, look at you, you're talking about buying something. This doesn't happen much. Buying something? Yeah. But I'm thinking, of course, I was thinking 150 pounds. Oh, okay. I was thinking you could get a set for one microphone for 100 pounds. Yeah. But I need a set for, we need a set for two microphones. Right. Please. Why you just buy it secondhand? You probably get it for less. Well, yeah, why would I buy it for secondhand? No, it seems like the kind of thing you would know. I don't know. I'd have to look on maybe, maybe you could. I think Gumtree would have it. I don't know. Why don't you speak to people in your industry? It's like the kind of thing they would know. Anyway, so that's uh, so that's that. So well, not busy. Very, very, very busy. Well, you have, what have you been doing? You had a date with a guy? No, I... Well, it's Mother's Day. Yeah, it's Mother's Happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank we, you. We should make this the Mother's well, Day Well, I mean, special. it's Monday now, but yes, thank you for Mother's Day. Oh, Monday. yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm having dinner with my family. And this you weekend. are a mother. And I went to, I was in Brighton for a friend's birthday this oh, weekend. Oh, okay, gay, we gay, see, gay. No, straight. No, straight, straight, woman straight, yeah. And some other friends. I didn't question anyone's sexuality, so I'm not going to update <laughs> you. Because you're not me. You're saying you're better than I am. I'm better than you. Well, we, we kind of knew that. I was on the show with one of the other guys. I said, are you gay? <laughs> and then as soon as I said it, it's, I said, oh, my God, this sounds horrible. Yeah. That's Why do you say stuff like that? I don't know, because you, you seem gay to me. What does the gay guy seem like to you? Some guy, some gay guys don't seem gay, and some mm-hmm. definitely seem gay. He was in the some some in the seem gay category. Yeah, I was in the. But why I, would you need to know that? Do you ask straight people? Hey, he's because straight. Because I was a. If, family, you, if you're sitting with a, a clear or someone who seems very heterosexual, do you yeah. go? Are you heterosexual? Yeah. You do. Yeah, I would say I would say to them, Are you married? Like that? Do you have a wife? Is so, that your way because, of saying are you no, homosexual? No, because I, because, I, because why would you I, say you married? Because I wanted to complain about being in a relationship with a woman. But why can't you just say are you in a relationship? No, it doesn't matter it's if it's with another man or a yes, woman. Yes, it does. does it? it totally does. Those relationships, people, relationships. No, it isn't a relationship. You don't know what it's like to be with a woman because you're a woman. <laughs> so, so what would you ask a lesbian? Because then she's with a woman, she would know. I would assume. Yeah. If, yeah, I would say she. So she what you want to know really is, are you in a relationship with a woman? With a woman. With a woman is what I want to know. Okay. You can't say are you in a relationship. Otherwise, you're not in my club, and you won't understand what I'm talking. about. I think about. it's better just to say, are you gay? But I, only if you're going to say to everyone, are you heterosexual? If you have this compulsive need to put people in one category, what about in the middle if they're bi? They yeah, might learn a little bit that's about true. women or a little bit do about Do I have women? to apologize for this? We're running out yes, of time. Yes, you do have to. We're apologize running out of time. It's ridiculous. Anyway. So and you should uh, stop being ridiculous if you want people to like you. I know. As soon as I did, it made him feel. What are you just being funny? I'm. I'm not funny. Oh. Okay. I'm not funny. When did you realize you're not funny? Just lately, I realized I'm not funny. You're not writing jokes. No. Okay. No, I'm not writing. I thought you were doing some kind of road sh- road show for I'm going, for your people. Yeah, I was doing. I've been doing that, but that seems to to dry it up a little. Mm-hmm. And then so you're uh, dry. I get I'm dry, and then but I'm going up to on April seventh. I'm mm. going up to Leeds. I'm doing a show at Leeds. Oh, where? Uh, I don't know where, but with Andrew Doyle. So that's oh, really fun. that's really brilliant. Yeah, he's taking you on a road trip with him. Yeah. One stop or multiple but, stops? One stop, but very but still it's still one stop. And May 9th I'm going to be doing comedy unleashed in. Yeah. Pull your pull your act together and okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're about to say goodbye for this section. But if you if you're listening to this, uh, you know, on give to Radio. Is amazing. Nunhead Radio is Nunhead our Twitter Radio. thing. Nunhead American on YouTube. Nunhead American. That's how you can watch this, and uh, or Nunhead American Radio on Facebook. So if you're up to that. Um, this when are we when are we repeating again on Resonance? We're repeating this on we're repeating Saturday. it on Saturday. At nine thirty in Prime the morning. Time. Prime time in the morning, like that. Okay, and uh, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Is there anything else we need to say? Thank you, Laura, for listening. Thank you, Laura, for coming. Thank you, Shawnee Shawn. Thank you, Richard Gard, Anna Crockett, Richard Thomas, Steve Parry, Neil McLennan, Peter, and uh, and Ed Baxter. We love you. Thank you very much. Best. Best show ever. Resonance. On the best radio station. On the best. You can get to listen to Louis Schaefer and Beautiful Lisa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, now we're back here. Okay. 
All right, here's the point. Now, the point is, the point is, is that, uh, should I be, is it appropriate for me to be discussing my work? Since Remember, we're still being broadcast here. I know, I'm just tired of my message. My, one of my okay. kids just wished me happy Mother's Day. I'm going to keep on talking while Lisa just has, does her paperwork. What do you call that? Her, her, her admin. Your admin. Personal admin for Mother's Day. Because you got three, you got, you got four children. I know, it takes a lot to follow up on the best wishes. It does. Who is, are they sending you something? Uh, what do you mean, like something is in physical goods? Should I send a message to the mother of my children and just say, you know, thank you for being a very good mother? Oh, that's very gracious of you. Thank you for being a very do good mother. Do you do mother. that every year? Thank you for being a very good mother. I'm sorry, you were a horrible wife. Could I say that? Just Could to... you just not do the first part of the message and then, you know, like as an aside to the audience go, and she was a horrible wife, but you hang yeah. up the phone by that point. She was a horrible wife. But maybe you were a horrible husband. What do you mean maybe? I was a horrible husband. Sounds I was like an absolute um, horrible husband. Sounds like a match made in heaven. I've tried to become, I'm going to be the best husband. This that, time. This time. What do you think it means? What do you have to do to be the best husband? When she what do you need to change from last time? Uh, not, never go to bed angry. Mm, I believe that. Yeah. I wish, that's, people, that's I wish I could have done that, but I can't. Yeah. Like, not go to bed angry. Yeah. Um, I tell her I love her, I love her, I love her all that's the time. Nice. I never that's something I never do. When she says to me, Why are you saying this to me? And then you're she trying gets to convince me. Yeah, she gets suspicious. You're trying Can't to you show me. your love in a multi in a number of different ways? Like I can't. Yeah. Bake her coffee back. No, that's not that's do, not like true. do a series of thoughtful things. Whatever it takes for for her to be for her life to be easy. Oh. Okay. That's nice. That's what I decided. What if she wants to go out to dinner? We will go out to dinner. What if she wants to go on vacation? We will go on vacation occasionally, yes. What if she wants to buy um, expensive shoes? I only mention this because I remember oh, hearing about shoe shoes. Oh, my shoe Oh, my God. From the old days. <laughs> that must have been about um, 20 years ago. I would let her buy the expensive shoes. You would let her. Isn't let the wrong no, man for a good husband? I would not. Husband. I would not reproach her on it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I would let her. I did Okay, control. but so you understand the power yeah. issue there. Yeah, it's, yeah, so she wants to buy a pair of shoes. You're going to view her as an equal. I'm not going to give her money for it. I won't you don't her. have any. No, but I will have whatever money I have. I'm going to really use it to, to create a home for oh. her to sit, to sit at home. That's so nice. To you want her to home. sit at home? Yes. Just to sit there? While she's just dating. Sitting there. Oh, oh right. I mean, if she's, she's going to have a baby. Yeah, and even if she has the baby, mm -hmm. if... She, if if she wants to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if she wants to, what if that means does, you have to go out and work for a bit? And I am working. What if for it's a bit. more than? What if you have to work more than seventeen days in a row? I will do that. Oh, this yeah. is nice. I mean, I've changed tremendously. You really changed. I've changed because I see what happens with people. I understand people now. I used to mm -hmm. put them into categories: bad person, good mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. and now I just see that the person. No, you, people. You're going to treat women like people now. Almost like people. You have to treat them almost like, like you treat them like a dog, mm. basically. Oh, right. So this is like, um, you're like a dog whisperer, but for wives. Yes. Yes. You have to know what a dog is like in order to. Mm. So now that you know what the dog is like, you know when to reward and know when to ignore, do all that stuff. I think I know a bit more. Of it. So you're yeah. rewarding the good and ignoring the bad. No, that's. That a, is that's the essence min, of dog training. That's the essence of dog training. Mm. Yes. But I'm thinking more like, how does the guy, how does the guy go into the dog pen with all the vicious dogs? Mm -hmm. He just walks come out. Come out alive. And come out alive. Have you mm -hmm. seen that? Have you seen that? The dog no. whisperer does that. No, I've not seen the dog whisperer. I think I would like it now that I have a dog, though. Yeah. You, remember that book I had about dog training? No. But I, I remember you had a book that you bought about how yeah. not to get divorced. What was that book you remember? You yeah, that was called internet? How to, uh, yes, that was called How to Keep uh, Women Happy. Um, Stop Your Divorce. Oh, yeah, called. yeah. Uh, by uh, Homer McDonald. I don't yeah. know who the author was. I didn't read it. Right, no, well, that's basically what it says. It says basically what human nature, it was a book, it was a red pill book. It was about human nature. Mm -hmm. It was like saying, well, why is, she, why is she leaving you when you're doing everything you think is right? Mm -hmm. Because it's not right. Oh, you're going in with a positive attitude. I like it. Well, we'll see. If she wants to destroy my life, she can destroy my life. Uh -huh. But she's, I'm not going to let her destroy my life. Mm -hmm. Because I, because no woman can destroy I, I thought I'm some kind of guardian for you. Yeah. What am I doing again? 
I mean, you're going to just make sure that if I'm homeless. Oh, right, yeah, to not let bad things happen. Not let bad things happen. If I lose, I'm like a godmother, but for you. Yeah, you just keep not an eye. Not a child, you but might, for you. You. Might, you might want to pull, pull her up and say, listen, you know, he's an old man. Just leave So, like, if you're kind of losing your marbles, yeah, you're we, not going to let her, like, chuck you out into the street. Yes, yes. So, so I'm like a guardian. A guardian, yeah. I'm like a uh, guardian for an older person. Way. I mean, they need it, right? They need I don't it. have power of attorney or anything like that, right? I don't, I, get, I don't get money. No, well, you can because she has. Yeah, and you've got kids. And she's got kids. And, I and got you've kids. got kids. I've got to do a will. Have you had a, made a will yet? No, why haven't I done that? Because 60, 80% of the people haven't made wills. Yeah, I've been a genius. So you're not, you're not abnormal. You need okay. to make a will. My kids get everything. And I'm not married, so they're going to get everything, right? Right. So when I get married. Yeah, if I got married again, I guess I would have more of a case to make a will. So, when I'm 64 so and to, I get married again. Do you need to make a will? If you're married again? If you don't have, if you're not remarried again. I don't think so. Because, I mean, you're not going to, like, you know, do anything I have is, well, that I might have is for my four kids, you know. Yeah, but won't they fight over it? Well, no, because it'll all be divided equally. Yeah, but who's going to be involved in selling the home? Won't they be like, you know, we don't want to listen to you. I'll talk want. to a lawyer. Yeah. You'd have to, you'd have to, which son would you, which child would you pick? Who's the most reliable of the children? What do you mean pick? Uh, oh, to be the to be executor. To be the executor, the lead person. I just, can be, I just write this into a will and can I, can I guess, can I guess which child would that No, be? you can. No, no, can I guess? No. We don't have to do, we don't have to, it, it could be, um, <laughs> what's his name? Not the, no, I don't know. You don't know. I really it don't. It wouldn't be one of them. Oh my God, you're so sexist. No, I'm just thinking. Well, in terms of maturity, I'm way I, don't know. I, know, I, think, I don't want to plan. I don't know. I, I think him. Okay. Am I am I closer, closer to? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. Like for example, who am I? Who would I pick? I would have to pick. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> you're going to be okay, kids. Yeah, Everything's but be being divided equally. Yeah. Your means. case may be more complicated because I'm never going to have another child, but you might. I might. So should I get married beforehand, before yeah. we have the child? Uh, I think as long as you're married, then it doesn't matter. But get married if you're having a child. If, but when we don't know if God... God so get married once you have the child. That's what I said. So we'll get married. If we, when we have a child, we'll get married. I think okay? Right. Things, especially if you're, you know, you're a little bit older yeah. than her. Oh, my things. God. This whole don't thing. worry, I'm your guardian. This whole thing is the most insane will you put, thing. Will you put it in writing that I'm your guardian? Um, no, well, I know I, you, you cannot be my guardian because Thank I will you. be married. You will be right. my, my angel. Right. Can you write me in as your angel? No. Can I, can I have some kind of status? You want a status? You're an angel. Okay. It's just, uh, you, you, because I have a I want of, a status that only requires me to do very little. Like I have a friend of mine who mm -hmm. died. Oh. Who died, yeah. Very Recently? old. Recently? Recently very old. Mm -hmm. And uh, just by herself. No, no kids or anything. Right. That's no kids. Don't mention any. Don't, don't have okay. any names. I don't. I wouldn't know how any names to mention. Uh, you do know her name to mention. Anyway. I do. How would I know? Anyway, so she died. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah. She died. Yeah, yeah. I know. And then five days before her death, they changed the will. Who did? I'm not saying. I shouldn't even. Are you? This it. is true. Why am I mentioning this? I don't know why episode? you're mentioning it. It just occurred to me who it is. Yeah. No, I um, didn't know that. Anyway, Did she have any anyway, oh, anyway, anyway, so uh, so here's the news of Nunhead. Mm. So basically, thank you for watching this thing. We, the first half was on the radio, on Resonance Radio, and which makes it so much. That's why this show is exciting. I think is because radio is exciting. It's exciting because it's being broadcast. You, you can choose to listen to it. If I say something horrible, or you say well, you something can do horrible. the same on the radio. But... Yeah, but being it's but the people at a that Ofcom are listening at the radio. Office of the oh, you mean you could be more obnoxious now? No, yeah. yes. We can't be. We can't, I'm saying we can't be obnoxious. That's what gives that freeze on of excitement. Right. Is that we have mm -hmm. to watch what we're saying. Right. That's why after, that's why every time. We, we have to be more repressed. We have to be more repressed. But it adds to the excitement of the entire thing. Yeah, radio is good. I mean, you're gonna. I don't want to discuss this with you, but that did you see them walk out of the uh, out of Parliament when that guy was speaking? Uh, I don't when know. when Andrew Bridgen was speaking about the COVID vaccines. 
Uh, you no, didn't see I it yet. Full time job. So. No, it's not that you had a full time job. It's just that it was barely reported. It was barely. Well, I mean, I. I don't even know if you know if it was reported, really. Mm, there's lots of things that go on. Right? Yeah. Decisions are made all the time. No, but this was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in this country. That can't be the weirdest thing. Oh, ever. my God. One of the weirdest things. Anyway. Anyway, you don't believe me. Right. No, I don't, because I believe so little of what you say now. Because I feel it's like just <laughs> everything you say is so, I don't know, like, you, yeah, fucked up. Yeah, you think so. Yeah, a lot of things you think I think. Very fucked up. Right, so you don't believe anything that I say. It's not a lot that of I don't people, believe people don't anything. Believe it. That there's a lot of things that you say that I don't believe. I yeah. think you manufacture your own truth. The case could be made. That's what people do nowadays. Mm -hmm. They they don't see what I see, and they see what they see. Soon as someone says that. Well, I'm I'm saying that I'm when whenever somebody speaks, I say to myself, mm -hmm. "This is they believe." Mm -hmm. Okay, they're not idiots, mm -hmm. but they believe this. Mm -hmm. So it isn't like that. It isn't. I'm not manufacturing my own truth. I've got my truth, and to me, it's like it's like those people who they say, "Is it a man?" or you know, the trans question, for example, which is the most to me, the most obviously extreme. Is that you know, are you a man? Are you a woman? Mm -hmm. And then they go, "I'm a woman," and mm -hmm. I go, well, "I think you're a dude." Um, but you did a whole show about that, like five or six years ago. Yeah. Right. I'm a shaper, I'm a beautiful woman. But it was basically about love. Yes. Right? It was, it was about love. It didn't it was focus about on the identity. It was about seeing beauty in mm -hmm. other people. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. That's people before but it was, so mean and ugly. Yeah. But but the question was basically I was basically making fun of it, but not making Were fun you? of it. Were you? You weren't. I don't think you were. I was saying can you be can you be a woman? Can you be a man? Can you be a woman just, you know, when you're born a man? Mm-hmm. And, and the answer, I mean, maybe I didn't answer the question in that. Maybe I didn't say that. Because mm -hmm. I, I just said, whether you're a man or a woman, you can still be beautiful. Yes. Right. And then, but I, I think I was thinking, I was thinking, no, you know, you're, you can't, you can't take a Cadillac and, and make it a Buick or vice versa. You know what I mean? You can't. Even you can't take. Why are you comparing people to manufactured man-made goods? Because what they're doing is you have a Buick that's got certain parts on it, mm -hmm. and you have a. I mean, I don't want to say Buick or Cadillac. But why are you? I I don't understand why you and your people are so weirdly, almost creepily obsessed with how people define their gender. How does it affect you? Um, are you going to have less of a penis because somebody feels they're a man? Well, how does it affect you in any way, shape, or form? That's a very in the same way. How does it affect me? I mean, I find that's a very evangelical anything. Yeah, weird to be fair, right? Because they subscribe to teachings that I find bizarre, but it doesn't really affect me. As if they're not getting not getting in my way, if they're not telling me what to do or right. forcing me to do what they want to do. Why does it affect me? I don't care. I'll okay. share a train carriage with All them. Right. I'll share an office. Okay, with let's them. figure out. Why. I'll share a bathroom with them, for example. Okay. But it doesn't bother me in any way. I think I may not understand it. Because you're a better person. Care. Okay, why do you think I am bothered by it? I don't know. I honestly and what don't part, know. And what part am I bothered by? I don't know. Okay, well, you're going to have to think about it. I no, like, I honestly don't know. I mean, it's, if you look at the right of the state, for example. Yeah. No, 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 we're not talking about that. We're just talking about me. Obsessed with this issue, but yeah, but you're like one of those people now. But and all of, of your people, people are just obsessed. But with you that. know me. I'm, I come yeah, from the same. Yeah, which surprises me. Right. I'm not. You're a guy who wrote a against... show. Louis Schaefer is beautiful, and yeah. now you're obsessed with how people are defining their gender. Why do you care what pronouns people use? Why would you even care? I'm going to tell you why I care. Why? I'll tell you why I care. I, you know what? I have to figure out why I don't care. Why I care? Why you care? I think I care. I'll tell you where where I do care. Mm -hmm. Um. I care, I think, this is what I think, I think it doesn't exist, right? If I just thought it didn't exist, right, where someone could be a different sex in their in their mind, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be a problem, mm -hmm. okay? But I think it's being weaponized, okay? To do what? To take 
to take children. Oh my God. Yeah. No. And, I think and, you're confusing this and, with and Catholicism. No. Or no. evangelical Christians. Well, you could do that too. But it's they're now, you know, the idea of transing children, which is transing children. Yes, castrating what does that even mean? means castrating children. Well, in most countries, no, we're where talking that about treatment here. is available, we're talking about here in this America. country, it doesn't no. happen like that. No, it does That's happen like that. They are transing children. Untrue. They are doing surgery on children. They're giving them hormone blockers, which are permanent or possibly. First of all, it's uh, not so, given out willy nilly. Okay. All right, stop, stop, stop for a second. Stop. No, because you don't stop, like the truth. Stop. Let's just say it's not happening very much. We're just talking about the one you're time. Talking, like, even, are you, you in favor of even children. one? Are you in favor of one time of taking a fourteen-year-old girl and having her breasts removed? I don't know. What if that fourteen-year-old girl was suicidal and? You know, it would have to be pretty extreme. I feel yeah. most people should wait to adulthood till any most surgery. people. But do you think but that it's okay? I could imagine there was an extreme you, case where right. I don't know. Maybe you would opt for surgery. I really don't know. Well, I think that that's completely important. But I mean, if you were so concerned about the welfare of children, of young boys and young yeah. girls, you wouldn't support the philosophies that you do. You would be making sure they all had great education, access to health care you know, access to nutritious food. There's so many things you can do for children than obsessing about what might happen to the teeniest, tiniest minority. And, and I'm not I, saying they shouldn't be I protected. Do, I do think about that. Well, you I know. Do, I but why are you obsessing on the thing that affects the smallest number of children that we can No, imagine? it's not. And that number is growing, growing, But growing. you're not obsessed by the fact that, you know, a good chunk of children are living in poverty and substandard housing yeah. without access to adequate food. I've never heard you obsessing stop. about that. Stop. You have stop. never stop. heard you stop. obsessing stop. Stop. about the because Syrian refugee who's going, you're going, escaping a war okay. zone. This is the thing. You've just gone down the wrong argument. I know. I'm just you're, saying. That's called, that's you called say a fallacious you care. argument. No, 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 no. no, no, no. There's a fallacious because argument. Because you're making called, up statistics we're talking about one, to one justify one your I, own prejudice. So you, you didn't even say, yeah. well, I'm against people uh, identifying as another gender because they want to protect the children. That's what I said. Maybe you need to protect those adults. Trans people are, are victims okay. of violent crimes all the time. And yeah. much higher ratio. Do you want to know something? Do you want to know something? Who are that might be true. That might not, but I don't think it's as true as you think it is, but I don't think it might be true. But what you're but talking you're about, stop, Lisa, stop, Lisa. Why, why are you not obsessing stop. about the Catholic stop. Church who stop. abused far more children? Okay, you've, you've just descended into whataboutism, which well, is the worst, which is a fallacious argument. It's anyway, a fallacious it argument. is a fallacious you argument. You purport to care about it children, is, but you don't. I've never is, heard you advocating for a political yeah. party with a full right. view okay. on protecting the welfare. Yeah, I, you know what? I wish I hadn't asked. This is, this is, this is, this is you, this kind of argument is so pathetic, really. It's not. Because a, it's a non-argument. So. I'm asking well, you're you. Making I'm asking you about, women getting their about, breasts cut. about castration of children. And uh, show and this is wrong. Where it's happened. It's happened. They're cutting off the breasts. They're doing reconstructive surgery. They're giving the people hormone treatment, which makes them unable to. I have seen it. You've seen and it. Where yes, have you seen it? I've, I've seen it on the Where news and things like it? that. I've seen it in the magazines that I buy. Data. I've seen it on the porn sites that I oh, go to. Oh, don't. And I, yeah, <laughs> please. You just said you're watching porn sites about children affected. Yeah. That's disgusting. Anyway, today I is apologize. The, apologize. Do you know what the, you know what the number one of the major the major porn categories now is is trans people. Well, see, these guys bang on about it, literally, and look what they're looking at. Yeah, well, that's something else, but that doesn't mean that it's... Uh, if people want to do what they want to do, they can do But it's it. okay as long as it's not something that you think. That children, the children, you just leave the children alone. And I see a lot of, I see, I see a lot of... It's so uh, weird that, like, it wouldn't bother you that, you know... You we don't do, we don't do what about it is. evangelicals. Though. I can't compete. I can't, I, can't, I can't compete with what about ism. I can only compete. I can only. We can only talk. Yeah, but you're about. just making up statistics. No, I'm not. Yes, I didn't you give you any statistics. You don't even have statistics. You're just there saying. There are children. I, I, so you're, I'm upset. You're basically so asking why you're all okay. obsessed with you're the trans okay issue, and you're like, oh, no. because children. No, 
You're obsessed. So you're you, okay you're, with you're, trans no. adults being uh, attacked and abused because okay. of the nature of the I don't know where we go from this. Can I tell you what? Can I tell you? Did, I, did you see this? That a two bedroom, 600 square foot uh, square foot flat in Lewis Schaefer's apartment block in my apartment. I know. 425,000 pounds. That's yeah. ridiculous. But That's remember when it was 200,000. Remember it was 100,000. Yeah, I know. Well, so, you bought the space for like 125. 155, I think. Oh, so you got some money. Well, I still owe them money, and they're always doing major works. You've got some money. I can't access that until I sell it. Then i got to buy something else. You're going to leave me anything. Probably not, You're no. being your angel. I might have to leave you something. You yeah. might have to leave me a little Yeah, okay. Something. I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah. That well, I mean, to. I'm going to look and make sure that you're not slung out to the street. Yeah. I probably am going to have to. Yeah, you're going to have to. I'm going to have to. I'll just, I mean, 10 percent is fine. It's not 10 percent. I've got, I've got a mortgage on this. I thought you bought this place for cash. No, I, bet really? I got a mortgage. It's not That's a big true. mortgage. My mortgage has gone up because this because the inflation has gone up so high. You're not you don't have to worry about that. How how much how much are the rates for renting a place? Oh my god, let's not even go there. Go there. No, I don't want to go there because it's depressing, and I'm not want to bring myself down. No, you don't have to think Mother's about Day. yourself. You can think about what is your take a thousand Please. pound flat. Let's say if you could get one. How much is it going? I for think now? it's probably gone up by thirty percent. Right, thirty yeah. percent. My mortgage has gone up by three hundred and fifty percent. Possibly, yeah. It's I gone. don't believe you, but no, my the mortgage interest rates were one percent. Yeah, for so long. You for so long. Mortgage down. And now I should have. I couldn't. I didn't have any yeah. money. I was so broke. Yeah. You know, I was just scraping by on that. And mm-hmm. now it's now you're working seventeen days a month. Well, this is now. Like this is now. Obviously, that's all over. I'm waiting to hear from another movie. Oh, are you? A big West Are you going to talk? I don't know. Maybe dance or something. You're going to dance? Uh, we don't Let know. Let me see, because I've seen you dancing at the rest of its Christmas party. I actually have a video was that of funny? Was it funny? the summer. Was it funny? Yeah, I like the way you let yourself it? Was, was I dancing? Yeah, you were like... Yeah. Something that's happens good. when men dance at a certain age. Yeah, they, nice. they lose it. It's nice. It's dad dancing. Yeah, but well, who cares? Again, live free. I don't think it's free. Mm. But, uh, I mean, I'm waiting to hear from them. I don't even know because it's like the way they make films now mm. is so different than the way they make films in the past. The mm-hmm. COVID thing. It's really mm-hmm. a bit of, like a quiet change. Mm-hmm. Is now everything is like they have nothing scheduled, really. Mm-hmm. Before they call in the, the extras. Mm-hmm. They first find out, are we filming that day? Oh, mm-hmm. we're filming that day. Let's get extras to come in. Mm-hmm. Whereas back in the day, they said, okay, let's get the extras in for for a weekend. So it's less scheduled? It's so Why less scheduled. That? I think because they were so used to canceling because of COVID. You know, but like all the equipment and everything is so expensive. So don't they have to have people there on certain days? They do, but the people are the most easiest to replace and right. change. The equipment is the hard part. Yeah. The getting the use of the set, mm-hmm. the getting the use of the, uh, of the mm. uh, you know, the equipment. Mm. So once they once they say, okay, we're filming these scenes this day and this day and this day, mm. they say, okay, who do we need? We need a hundred extras. Mm. So three or four days beforehand, maybe mm-hmm, even, mm-hmm. or a week beforehand, mm-hmm. they'll say, are you free? And then they'll say, are you free? For these days, and we may need right. you other days. But you can turn them down, right? Presumably, if something else came. Presumably, on. but there's their head is still in there. What are you looking at the thing? We're almost done. Yeah, somewhere. no, I'm just checking to see if I have a message. Um, so presumably, presumably they wouldn't be upset, but they possibly are. So you're upset. saying you got stuff in the pipeline. I'm, because I'm kind of constantly asking me stuff. Are you free this day and then mm. one day and this week? And sometimes you'll say yes to them, and and then you then you think, okay, I can't mm-hmm. take any other work. But they mm-hmm. were just sort of kidding. Yeah. They weren't quite as serious as you thought they yeah. were. So they're not treating their people nice. No, yeah. but that's just the way it is. Now you know. Now so we know. there's no shortage of extras then. It, in the way there's shortages in other areas. Right. There's no shortage of extras. There is. There is approaching a shortage, you can mm. tell, because it's so... Mm. Busy? They, it's not that it's busy. It's just that it, it's not worth... You know, we're not... The money isn't quite as there. Mm. It's good for older people. There's no other... Yeah, thing. like a top-up on your... Yeah, you're making something. a little money. Yeah. But for a younger person, you're not going to kill your entire week for a, for 150 pounds. Right, so maybe they'll start paying more then. It's only 150 pounds a week. 
uh, for a show for one day. Oh, so it's 150 so, pounds a day. So you you know you take other work. Yeah. Whatever that would be, you get a real job if you're working two yeah. two days a week or three yeah. days a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That may not happen. And it's not even guaranteed. That's not even guaranteed. But it's a it's a fantastic thing to be on the movie set of this movie in Chatham was really it was it was it was amazing. Mm. It was amazing. You don't. This is the thing. You don't know if he's a genius. What's mm -hmm. his name? He just seems like this average guy. Yeah, I think guy. he is a genius. Well, that's what I heard. The scene that I saw was. The scene. I saw. Uh, went to his. It was actually, I think, right before lockdown. He had an exhibition at the Tate, and it was really good. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wish I had found out about how good he was, because I just thought he was just some average, you know. No, my God. Good. I mean, he's, well, I think because he's so good at so many different things, right? He, he reminded me of a... Of a, of a, a young Lewis a young Lewis Schaefer, is that what you were going to say? No, no. A successful guy that we would know, some Jewish guy in New York. You mean like good at so many different things? No, just like... A, On his A game? Just a successful guy. Like who, who would you... Like, if, like I've got friends who I went to uni with, mm -hmm. or... They went. They could do anything. Yeah. They were just smart guys, yeah. and they didn't look like that great. You didn't yeah. look at them and think, "Oh my God, that guy's so handsome, or that mm -hmm. guy's so tall, mm -hmm. or so beautiful, whatever." But maybe it is. they're just super gifted. That's, I don't believe in gifted. They just know. Mm -hmm. You, you know. don't believe in much. To the women. What does God. gifted mean? I don't know. Just like talented at whatever they put their hands on. Smart, insightful. Yeah. You know. Okay. So what have anyway. what have we what have, what else do we have to say about Nothing. this thing? Nothing. We got nothing to say. We got nothing. You got to say. your Monday thing tomorrow, right? Or today? Right. That's tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, I forgot that Monday. Yeah, I got that tomorrow. Thank you, Blanche. Open night. What are they? What are you guys up My to? My comedy, which is quite. Still getting like all the little young ones through the door. Yeah, and some of them come up to me and says, "You don't remember this, but I went to your show when I first started, and it was oh. really amazing." Does any does anyone really say that? Yeah, oh. they say it because because it's so, <laughs> you sat in through the thing. It's gotten better because mm -hmm. now I just sort of know what I'm doing, which is yeah. Which is just try to make it interesting. So somebody, so this guy yesterday, he said to me, "I was there, and and I've been doing it for five times." And I said, "How are you all doing?" Mm -hmm. And he said, "And I had said, I'm doing horribly. I'm having problems with love or something." And and he said, "Oh my God, that really made me think." And it and it, you got the impression it changed his entire, not his entire approach, one thing, but made him think like, what can happen in a comedy? Mm -hmm. It's career. In, in, on stage, mm -hmm. oh, okay. on stage, mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do. Interesting. Okay, so what else? Cool. Are we, what Let's else? That's about it. it. Let's wrap it up. I want to thank you for listening. Uh, we're never going to agree. We're not going to agree. But you're going to leave me money, and I'm going to look after you. Yeah. Well, I'm not you're personally going gonna... to look after you, but I'm going to make sure you're looked after. That's more accurate. I don't want. I don't need you to look after me. Just keep an eye on. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm yeah, keeping yeah. it up. Keeping it. I'm like big brother. Big brother, you could say, you know what? Uh, don't don't screw the guy too yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, maybe he needs to go into a hole. Yeah, but just at least nice one that he's in. Exactly. Yeah, let him yeah. take some of his things away. I know he's complaining about it, but just yeah, let him yeah. let him go. Don't in. worry, I'm there. It's quite a scary prospect, really. Mm. Really. Don't worry. So I'm I'm doing all right physically, but I feel I feel a little bit. Well, maybe you need some veggies. Right, let's lock it down. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Best show ever. Thank you, beautiful Lisa Moyle. Lisa Moyle. Thank you very much, Lewis Schaefer. Thank you, Residence FM, for giving us the input. We wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for Residence. So, ResonanceFM.com. So give them some money. Then maybe they can give us money on Patreon. I think we're on Patreon. Oh, I'm, we, a, I'm on you're Patreon. On. Yeah. Which one person. But anyway, you're leaving me 10%, so I'm not so worried about it. Well, 10%. We should do this and we'll get 50 50 on this thing. Okay. I want to make millions, though. Do you know what it takes? What will it take for us to make millions? We have know. this guy. Mm -hmm. He just they make videos. The ones who are successful, they just make videos. They work the hard. Videos. You're trying to say they work hard. It's not even that hard. It's really hard. But this is we're working not even all. We're working an hour a week. It's not enough. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Wave goodbye. Oh.